How many of you would let your five-year-old daughter or son starve to death during this collapse when the food runs out? And a bunch of looters come through and are trying to burn your house down and you don't have any food, but you've got bullets. You're going to eat those people. Don't lie about it and don't act like you aren't. I'm ready to eat people. Now let's get real about this. We live in a world, ladies and gentlemen, where people don't know history. The Pentagon did a study 30 years ago in different war zones and found within 10 days, almost everyone with no food or water will kill for food and water. Within 15, 90% of people begin eating other humans. 90% of you will eat humans to stay alive. You've got that instinct. Let's stop the war so we don't have to do that. 10% commit suicide. And I got to tell you, before I would eat my leftist neighbors, if I didn't have children, I, I'm not a fan of suicide, but I think in, in a dystopia like that, it'd probably be time to do it. But why don't we just form our own communities? Why don't we get ready for this? Because all you need is an area away from the big cities and a farming community. You won't have to eat your neighbors. So I'm taking you to the logical end of this. I don't want to go there. My neighbors don't have to worry. I'm not over there like Jeffrey Dahmer, Sharp and the I, I'm saying the Pentagon studies, and I agree with them, show 90% of people, 15 days in, your sons, your daughters are starving to death. And a horde of people that weren't prepared and ready come down your street. They've already destroyed the city. You live 100 miles out in the country. And here they come at night, 30 people, trying to take your house. They're going to eat your ass. What are you going to do? Because that's where this goes. Let's get dead serious about it. Looks like we're going to be making some beef jerky.